we have to be real and we have to be fair. Mm -hmm. um, and we have to do an analysis to see what is the reason why the society, people, are not cooperating with the justice system. And uh, one of the main reasons that we have heard is that people fear their lives. Yes. They fear that if they were to give a statement to the police on a crime that they may have witnessed, that they can become a victim. And that sense of feeling is real. Mm -hmm. um, we have seen it played out many times. And so what is being done again, and um, I must commend our minister and the, the attorney general for pushing for the witness anonymity bill mm -hmm. to go through. Um, it was introduced in the House last Friday. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm hoping that pretty soon it will go through the stages and become law. Because what that bill is going to do is, well, it is not what we want exactly. It's, it's a, not a witness a protection bill. Yes, mm -hmm. it's an anonymity bill. Mm -hmm. um, it is not exactly what we want, but it is a start. Mm -hmm. um, it will allow the prosecution to, when disclosing um, statements to the defense, the prosecution can apply to the magistrate to remove or to blot out any information on that statement, on that statement that may be able to identify who the witness is. Mm -hmm. So that the witness name, the witness age, the witness address, where the witness work, all of those things will be removed. Any identifiers. Yes, will be removed from the statement. It will also provide the prosecution to make application to the court for trial to be done. There are some, or for the witness to testify from behind, be screened.